Welcome back. Small budget film set in a sleepy Yorkshire village has become a hit during lockdown nearly a decade after it was first made. Dan Hartley wrote, directed and produced Lad, a Yorkshire story. That's the title. It was done in 2011 as an homage to the people and places he grew up in. He couldn't find anyone to release it. And then 10 years later, the film appeared on YouTube and now it can be found on Amazon Prime and lots of people are watching it. Take a look. Did I give you permission to speak? Say no, sir! You've got 60 seconds to get round this car. Go! We can talk to the film's creator, Dan Hartley. Dan, good morning to you. Good morning. So, tell me how it feels. Um, this is your first um, feature film. It's won, more, uh, won at more than 20 film festivals. It's rated 7.9 on IMDb, which makes it one of the highest rated British films of all time. And when, when it was made in 2011, you were struggling to get it out on screen. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's the very definition of a, a sleeper hit. I mean, it's it's really been a, a, a film that's gained traction through word of mouth. And um, it, it was strange because we really struggled to find anyone who would take it on because it didn't have a, a known cast. All the, all the actors are sourced from the community and they hadn't been in a film before. And it was obviously very low budget. So no one really wanted to take a risk on it. But we, we knew quite quickly that there was an audience for it because we had really great uh, screenings in you know america and canada and australia and um so you know it, it, it's taken a long time but um we're now seeing that the, the audience is really really warming to it dan can you just take us through the story because clearly you, when it was first made you had this good reaction and then i guess in a way you slightly parked it maybe in your own head and thought well that was then and you, you've got your own career in the movie industry and then uh, somebody is that right somebody put it out on youtube and you didn't know that was happening and then that how did that work um, I mean, I, I certainly spent many years trying to get it out there. I tried different things. Um, I, I, it's interesting, I watched Close Encounters of the Third Kind with my wife recently. We both were looking at the um, Richard Dreyfus building the mountain, going kind of crazy. And I think for a few years, it kind of looked like that. But, um, you know, eventually there was a day I was, I was on a film set. I worked as a technician and a, an email came through saying, just thank you for sharing this wonderful film. And then the next day, another email. I had no idea where they were coming from. And I ended up sort of searching for it and found my film on YouTube. And it had a couple of hundred thousand viewers. So um, overnight, it, I don't know, it, it just it just built and built. And then we released it on Amazon and we've had hundreds of thousands of uh, people watching it. And obviously there's, there's something in the film, which I think particularly at this time, um, when we're all struggling and... Um, uh, it, it, you know, we're going through a difficult time and this is about a family that are going through a difficult time but they show such resilience and courage and strength that I think there's a universal story there and, um, and people have embraced that. Dan, quick word, have you managed to speak to any of the cast because some of them had never acted before? Yeah, so I'm very, I'm in touch with the, the lead role, the lead character, Brett and Lord. He's, they're family friends. We've spent Christmas together for the last, um, you know, 10 years and, um, I, I keep track of all of them. Molly's gone on to great success. She's in uh, Bridgerton lately. and But I, I really hope that as the film grows in popularity, there'll be um, potential for these wonderful uh, actors to, to get more exposure and to, to go on to really big things. But you know what? I think it's, lo it's lovely the way it has emerged over time. And it must have been, I mean, I don't know, hearing what you said, it must have been frustrating for a period of time. <laughs> you knew you'd got something really good in your hands, but no one else knew it yet. But they do now. So that's good. <laughs> Congratulations. That's good. Lovely to talk to you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. The film is called Lad, A Yorkshire Story. It is available on Amazon Prime. That's all from Breakfast for today. We're back tomorrow at 6am. Now, taking over from us on BBC One is Morning Live. Here's Gethin.